Hey guys, what is going on? I was just flipping through some of these difficulty charts to see where they were going. And it looks like they're kind of stabilizing out a bit. Fyro is still going up. Flux is going up a lot. Nyoxa is going up. Ravencoin is going up. Ethereum Classic is coming down. I thought that it would be up around, you know, 450, but took half of the hash rate from Ethereum. That would put this at 450, 500 terahash, but it is down at 200. Look at that. Up, coming down. I guess not even the ASICs are profitable on ETH Classic. Ergo, coming back down. Look at this. It spiked up. Hit like 400 here, just about. And it's coming back down. So that's good. Good for uh, GPU miners with cheap electricity, I suppose. All my stuff is mostly off still. I have, I'm on my main PC right now, and it is still running just because it's just always on this computer. So I decided I might as well just mine something on it. It's mining Ergo right now. It's got a 3080 Ti in it. I don't know. It's not making very much, let me tell you. And I have a few things on the go, though. I'm going to keep CPU spec mining. So let me just show you what I have in mind here. So these are the rigs here that I'm going to be pulling apart and kind of swapping a bunch of parts on. This particular rig right here has a Ryzen 5900X CPU on it. And what I want to do is take the CPU out of that and stick it in this tower computer that I have. This is just a single card graphics card one. So I'm going to just take that out of there, throw the 5900X in there, and then have this as just a dedicated CPU miner. And then this particular rig right here has a 5800X CPU in it, which is, it's okay. It can mine a little bit. I think it uses, it's not very power efficient compared to the 5900X, but it's okay. So what I'm going to do with this particular rig here, I'm going to pull all these cards out of here. I'm going to fill it with four 3070s and then two more. I've got a really efficient 3060 Ti, so I'm definitely going to use that one. And then the last card, i got to do the math on this. I might put a 3080 in it or a 3080 Ti or another 3060 Ti. I'm not sure. So my plans for this rig is to make it a heater for the house and the main floor because it's getting kind of cold at night. So this is going to be like my space heater. I'm going to just blow a fan on it and blow air around the house to keep it warm. That way I don't have to run the furnace. And this thing will have six cards on it plus CPU mining. So I'm going to like kind of, it's a mess right now. I'm going to kind of pretty it up and I want my most efficient cards on this. I only have four 3070s. So it's definitely going to have four 3070s. And then I have this, what is it? An Aorus Master. It's a Gigabyte Aorus Master 3060 Ti, which is just wildly like efficient compared to my, all my other 3060 Ti's, which is far and away better than the other ones that I have. So that's going to go on here. So that'll be five cards. And then the sixth one, I need to balance the power. I don't want to put more than about 1100 watts on that circuit just because I'm going to be using it for other things in the house. I'll have like my TV on it and you know, I got a couple of lights and stuff like that on the same switch. So I want to keep it around 1100 watts. So I'm going to spec this all like the CPU is running. We'll say 150 watts on there. And then we'll pretend we're doing Ergo or sorry, not Ergo Raven on the, on the uh, Kapow algorithm. Cause that's the most power intensive. So we'll have four 3070s. Uh, they take about 150 watts each. 3060 Ti does about 160 watts, we'll say. So that puts us at 600, 760 plus 150, 910 watts, plus the last card, so 910. So we could put a 200 watt card on there. I need to check again what the 3080 draws. I think it's about 280. So that might be a little bit much. And I don't like the 3070 Ti because that thing's just... It's way too hot for what you get, but but the heat's, I guess, good because I want in the house. So I might just take a look at my individual cards, the old stats, and find out what the particular card has the best, you know, silicone lottery, silicone lottery, whichever one is the best. I'll take 
you know, another good 3060 Ti or maybe a 3080, I don't know. I'll put them all together anyways and see what the wattage is on it. And then this is going to be my space heater. I'm going to put it near the stairs in the house and like blowing air up into the house and keep it nice and warm. So this will be my, and then I can run it. You know, if it's running at a loss, that's okay because it's really a heater and then like a spec miner. So I'll be like spec CPU mining, spec GPU mining and using it as a heater. So if it runs at a loss at a couple dollars a day, then, you know, I won't have to run my furnace for the, a little while. That should keep the heat off the, like the cold, the chill off the house until it gets pretty close to, to zero. Like these things, these things put out a lot of heat. You keep the windows closed and you run a rig in the house, they get hot. The house gets hot. So I could probably stave off the furnace for quite a while. I don't know what a furnace costs anyways. A couple bucks a day at least. And then this, that's what this, you know, if this is losing a couple bucks a day, at least I'm getting uh, getting some coins out of it. And then this the one will be the spec mining with the 5900 XT, or sorry, 5900 X CPU. So like I know the CPU coins haven't been affected by this whole merge, like the GPU mineable ones have. So it'd be nice to kind of keep an eye on what's out there. I know Rabbit Mining is very active in that world. I'll have to join his Discord and see what I can figure out as far as that goes and you know play around with that a little bit and that's kind of what I got going on for now so I'm going to build all those up and then kind of figure out what I'm going to do with them that's what I got on the go right now still feels odd with everything off though let me tell you it is weird these particular cards have been running for just about five years non-stop for me the only time they've been off is during cleanings and moving if i'm moving a rig somewhere these used to all be on one big giant 13 card rig and then i've just like since i had some motherboard issues so i split them up and it's really hard to move those rigs it was an open air rig that i couldn't it was like flopping all over the place so put it in a sturdy wood frame here but yeah, these things have been on non-stop for about five years and they are off now. It is, it's kind of sad. But these are rock solid, man. These are some Nitro Special Edition cards. I have never had to replace the thermal paste on these. I probably should take a look at it, but I'm kind of scared to open them up because they're just so solid. I don't want to jinx them. I haven't had a single fan failure. I have 10 of these cards. 10, 11? 10 or 11. I think I've got 11 of these things, actually. 11 of these Sapphire Nitro Special Edition cards and not a single fan failure on there. Not one fan failure, not one issue. These things are just beautifully made cards. Look at these massive heat pipes on them. Like, I don't know why NVIDIA doesn't have any chip manufacturers that make cards this robust. These things are absolutely mental. I would love to have some good quality cards like that on some other chip other than these ones. I've never seen anything like this ever ever again. Nothing comes even close to how robust these things are. This one's an Asus Strix, classic Asus fashion. Piece of absolute trash. I've had to fix fans on this thing. It doesn't run very good. It crashes all the time. I've redone the thermal pads on it. Like, no good. These things, beautiful, beautiful cards. So that's kind of all I got for today. Just tinkering with some stuff here. Get some CPU rigs up and going. There's the old wall of cards slash weight room. Be cool to put those up on a shelf somewhere. All those Zodac ones, Zotac ones there looks cool. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. This is the little junk room slash workout room. Oh yeah, and then the CPU, I've got this cooler here. This motherboard is, has issues, so RAM is good, CPU is good. This cooler is a little bit better. I've got water blocks in these ones. This was actually my old PC water block. AIO. And then this one has one. These things were super cheap. They The uh, high-end AMD cards don't come with coolers anymore. And these were on sale for like 60 bucks. So I picked them up rather than just an air cooler. So I've got, that's why I have a lot of computers with those. Like this is, this has got one in there too. That's got one. 
And then this one was actually for my computer, my main PC. You can see there's the box right there. That was the main PC one. And then I replaced it with the three fan, was it 360 millimeter for my main PC, just for the fun of it. So that one's just was sitting there. So I just threw it in a rig with a 5800X CPU, but whatever I am rambling on, that is all I got for now. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I love mining and I'm very, I suppose, hopeful for the long-term outlook of this. I think it'll be okay. Things just have to settle out. But to say that mining is going away also means that every single proof of work coin is also going to go away because it's all supply and demand, right? They need miners to validate the networks and to generate new coins. And if there's nobody running on the network, then those coins are just, they'll just kind of cease to function and has to meet that equilibrium point some point in time. And thinking that it won't is essentially betting that every single coin that's proof of work won't work, which I don't, I don't buy it. I don't think that's the case. That's all I got for now. You guys take it easy. Thanks for watching. Here's a thumbs up. High tech thumbs up.